Good evening. How are you feeling tonight? I feel... I feel somewhere in the middle. I feel somewhere in the middle. Not great, but not bad. Uh, I had a long day at work today. I was just very busy doing a lot of little things, and I felt very tired at the end of the day, and I'm not sure why. Uh, I have a hunch it's because when I work and I make a schedule, I make a lot of schedules. I, I make schedules for weeks in advance to try and scope out where the where things are going. And when I make something I think is done, I like to keep it done. But because things always change, uh, sometimes i got to edit things I've already done. So I think what happens is if I spend too much time editing things that I felt were done, then I start to get tired. I'm like, oh, I thought this was finished. So I think that's part of why I feel so tired today, because I was just... I had to do a lot of editing on things I thought were already done. Eh. It's all work. It all counts. No one's angry at me. And I'm not upset. It just... I think that's why I felt so tired today. So, I decided to treat myself. I went to the store. And I looked around the freezer section. And sure enough, uh, because I work in a mall, and because this mall has a supermarket in it, because why not? I don't know. Most Japanese malls seem to have supermarkets in them. Um, I had a hunch maybe there would be some Ben and Jerry's ice cream inside. Pardon me, it's a bug. And I was right. There was Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Now, I should explain to you why it's so important. Not just because Ben and Jerry's ice cream, because obviously Ben and Jerry's ice cream is fantastic, and I hope you, the viewer, can taste and know that. But here in Japan, ice cream is kind of hard to come by. It's not that it's it's not that it's out of reach. I can go to the 7-Eleven less than a kilometer from here. I can walk there and buy all kinds of ice cream. The problem is Japan's standards of ice cream are a little different. There's basically three kinds of ice cream. And it's all marketed as ice cream. Like if you, you know, all the products say ice cream on them and they look like ice cream and they kind of taste like ice cream, but they're in fact three different things. And if you look closely, it's clearly labeled. But ice cream, as we know it, and I looked this up already, has to contain at least 15% of milk solids. And at least 8% of that uh, should be, like, milk fat. Ice milk, which is a term we have in, in the U.S., surely. Uh, ice milk is closer to, I think, 10% milk solids and... Like 8%, no, 5% milk fat. Whereas, lacto ice, it's written in katakana, lacto. Apparently, when in English you write it with L, L A C T O, lacto ice, that's like 3% milk solid, and it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to have any fat in it. It can be, it can have no milk fat in it. And now, look, I love ice cream. I have a sweet tooth. I like to eat dessert. Um, but the fact is, I've been here for a long time. I've eaten a lot of ice cream products. I can tell you, I can tell the difference right away if something is lacto ice or if it's real ice cream. Ice milk is in between, and, you know, if it's sweet enough, I maybe can't tell sometimes. But generally speaking, when I'm eating it, I'm like, eh, this is over here and this is over here. It's very much like the beer situation in Japan. And be there's, there's beer in Japan, and there's, like, products that resemble beer but have different ingredients but they still have alcohol, so you can still get drunk, but it doesn't taste like beer, and I think it's disgusting. But it's a lot cheaper, so it's readily available. Some people just don't care, and I think that's the problem here with the ice cream. A lot of people in Japan just don't care. They just see it's ice cream, and it, it's got sweetness, and that's fine. So the bigger problem is, it's hard to find a dedicated ice cream store. Like, again, I can go to 7-Eleven or a supermarket and buy ice cream there, but... Baskin Robbins, they're in Japan, but not around here. Haagen Dazs, they pulled out of Japan. They're gone. Um, Goldstone, I think they're gone, or at least if they're not, if they're not gone, they're just they're very remote. And um, of course, Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's, as far as I know, has one location in Tokyo, and that's it. They're otherwise sold in stores. But they're like really tiny cups, like this big. And those tiny little cups are like $3 each. 
So it's really not very economical. But, God damn it, when I want some ice cream, I go looking for Ben & Jerry's, and today I found it. And I'm very pleased to report that if you go to a Japanese supermarket and you find Waffle Cone Crunch, um, or it might be called Waffle Cone Dream, I've forgotten the name, but in any case, the cone is in the name. It's basically Americone Dream. They just don't use the Stephen Colbert branding because no one in Japan knows who that is. But it's the same flavor. So, try that. Have some ice cream. If you like locked ice, that's fine. I'm not going to hate you. But boy, I don't care for it as much as I care for actual ice cream. And let me tell you, Ben & Jerry's, actual ice cream. And I love it. Anyway, that's it. I got five minutes on ice cream. Thank you very much, everybody. Good night. I love you.